the door. No chicken runs. Okay, so you can hold this. This is mm -hmm. for the peacock. Oh, okay. So the, peacock the peacock eats meat, but the okay. chickens do not. Hello. Hi. Where are you? Are they scared of us? Oh, they're <laughs> so hungry. Look at them. <laughs> yeah, so there's uh, five babies and mm -hmm. three, four grown-ups. Um, so do you yeah. feed them at the same time every day? Uh, almost, mm. yeah. They love salad, it's their favorite. So, salad and corn, yeah. If you give them one of these, they'll love you forever. <laughs> <laughs> love me forever. Yes. <laughs> if that's just like the Disney version of a chicken. No, or it is. It is? Yeah, They're always I, yellow? I, I, I raised um, <laughs> chicks before. Okay. You can buy them from Bethlehem anyway. There you go. No one. <laughs> Wanna try? Yeah, so here. They're a bit scared. I so like. do you come here every day? Yeah, I come we come every like we feed them once a day. Mm -hmm. And we feed them uh, uh, leftovers of the food that we eat. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so we don't have to feel bad when we yeah. uh, leave food behind after dinner. So, so yeah, it's very Is it your first time in Palestine and how long have you been volunteering here for? Um, it's my first time in Palestine, yes, and uh, I, I've been here for about a, a month, mm -hmm. like three weeks, a month. So yeah, yeah, it's been very, so it's been great. What do you think of Palestine? What's your first impression when you came here? Hmm, uh, I, I really like it here. I think it's, I think it's amazing. I, I had, uh, I didn't know what to expect. I, mm -hmm. I didn't know very much before mm -hmm. I came. Uh, but yeah, I, I live in Betzahor, which is uh, the neighboring city to Bethlehem, and, and it's beautiful, like the old city is beautiful. Yeah. Last weekend there was a market, and yeah, it's, it's been great, and people have been very nice to me, mm -hmm. like, you know, I go to the bakery, buy a piece of bread, and then next moment I'm in the baker's house eating dinner. Nice. <laughs> yes. So you said you didn't know what to expect about life in Palestine. No, what were the ideas or stereotypes that say you had before about Palestine before you came here? Um, it's a hard question. <laughs> tell me, tell me. <laughs> it's okay, be honest. No, I mean, I, um, I, I, I just uh, saw things on the news, mm -hmm. and most of what you see on the news is uh, has like some kind of. Uh, there's some sad things attached to it and you rarely get to see the daily life and, and the culture and all these things. You don't see them in the news. Yeah. So that was the, so that the was positive, really, really great. The positive part you don't see, only no, the negative exactly. one. Yes, exactly. So, so that's one of the reasons why I wanted to come and mm -hmm. it's like, I don't think, like I want to see for myself. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, uh, yeah. and it's, been a, it's been a very positive, uh, it's been a very positive experience. So Sarah, out of all the places in the world, why did you choose Palestine? <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a long story. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's a long story. Some, some things were just coincidence. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you meet some people and you talk to them and, and they tell, like I have some friends who uh, told me about Palestine. Mm -hmm who had been here and they were saying it was amazing here. And also, um, I'm a landscape architect, uh, so uh, I'm very interested in the way like humans have influenced the landscape and the environment. Uh, yes. And I mean, here we are at the cradle of civilization. And yeah. yeah, I just find it very fascinating. And there's historical sites everywhere, um, these ancient olive groves. And yeah, I just, I love, I love that. So. So I wanted to come here and uh, experience. Yeah, I think I think that's my answer. <laughs> I'm glad you like it here. Yes. So where did you travel inside Palestine? Um, I've been to Hebron mm -hmm. um, and Ramallah, and uh, and that's it. <laughs> I'm going to travel like to several places. I just I've been here and I've done mm -hmm. I've. I've enjoyed this area a lot well, and tried to get to know. It's only a month, uh, so 
Yes, you but time. Time, uh, yeah, time yes. passes so quickly, yes. so I, now I need to like hurry up and, and go places. Mm -hmm. But it's been very so interesting. what's your favorite place out of these places? I think, I mean, I would have to say Bethlehem. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, or to even like Old Town Besahol, mm -hmm. and to Batir. Mm -hmm. And that, that's maybe probably my favorite place. Nice. It's, it's paradise. Nice. Okay, let's talk about cultural stuff. Um, so you've been here for a month. I'm sure you've had uh, some Arabic food. What's your favorite? Uh, <laughs> that's hard <laughs> to pick. I think I had like more hummus and um, and eggplant dip than I've ever had in my whole life, mm -hmm. and that's amazing. But um, I have to say, I, I love molochia. Mm. I was a part of a molochia harvest, nice. and, and we made we harvested and made a soup, nice. and that was very special and very nice. Wow. Um, and of course, the mahlouba. <laughs> of course. <laughs> like everybody loves the mahlouba. <laughs> yes. And in the beginning, I, I came here and I was like, where can I get good mahlouba? And everyone was, was like, you have to come to my mother. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so it took me a while to get to get it, but now I had it. And nice. It's, it's Can you great. make any? Mm, no. No. <laughs> but I will. I will learn. I will yes. learn. Yes. Yes. Before I go, uh, I I will know how to make good makluba. I'm sure it's good. it's easy. Not yeah. Very difficult. But yeah, ma there's many things. Frike, like mm. stuffed peppers. Yes. I love. I love everything. <laughs> Tell us more about the museum and the work here. <laughs> Um, the work you do or in general in the museum? In the museum? Yeah. Yeah, so we have a lot of daily tasks. Mm -hmm. you know, feeding the chicken, feeding... We have fish, mm -hmm. aquaponic system. It's very interesting. Uh, and we, yes, water, watering plants, all these things. Um, and we do different things, like the volunteers do different things. I have been... I have been recently working on a... Like on a stuff for the exhibition. There's an exhibition room and I've been making a big uh, landscape model mm -hmm. uh, for the exhibition. Nice. Uh, so, so you can really choose what you want to do yourself. Mm -hmm. um, based on your maybe based skills on, or interests. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So Sarah, um, you've been here for a month, but I heard you learn something from this culture. Uh, such as knitting and embroidery. Tell us, what else? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I got very obsessed with uh, with the Palestinian embroidery. Mm -hmm. It's very uh, beautiful, and and I just started doing it and found it very relaxing. So whenever I got a bit stressed or if I I was bored, I I was I would do the embroidery. Mm. Um, and I also uh, I also learned a little bit of dabka. Really? Yeah, from the Ada camp. Here in Bethlehem, so that was that was it is difficult to learn. Um, I used to dance, or I still dance uh, back home. Mm -hmm. So, so it was okay, but but it's very it's it's hard. It's fast, mm -hmm. and yeah, it's a challenge. Nice. What else did you learn? Did you do you speak any Arabic? Um, <laughs> yeah, I speak a little bit, but I should probably not say that on TV. Tell me the numbers. <laughs> yeah, vada no vada vaha tenen telata arba kamsa sitte. That's good. Tenen <laughs> for being here for a month is good. <laughs> it should yeah I should yeah. I should learn more, but uh, but yeah, it's I know some things and some things I learn here while picking olives, but yeah I can't say mm -hmm. that on TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so tell me, how, how is this experience changing you and affecting you um, on the personal level? Well, I, I spent the last uh, four or five years in, um, in my hometown. And, and one of the very profound things I understand about where I'm from is mm -hmm. how how lucky I am that it's peaceful and this is a big thing, you know, to, to really appreciate uh, where you're from and what I have from home. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, also traveling and talking to people who are way different than I am, it, it, it opens up your perspective on, on people, culture, everything. And, and I think this is an, an important life skill to have in general yeah, yeah if this I'm answers sure, your I'm question sure, uh, yeah 
Me too. Yeah. yeah, and I I guess another way that this place changed me is that while I've been here, I've met so many people, including the people who work here at the mm -hmm. museum, who are um, they're committing their whole life to a cause and working so hard. Um, like most of the Palestinians I have met, they work from they wake up till they go to sleep, including you. <laughs> <laughs> so, but but really, this is. Uh, very inspiring and and puts your whole life in perspective mm -hmm. I think so what message do you give uh, these foreigners uh, or advices about Palestine and, and coming to Palestine well first of all I would say that what you say is very true um, you, you do get this very stereotypical view of, mm -hmm. of this this country in this uh, region when you only look at the news so the first thing would be don't just base your your views on on what you see on television and what you read in the paper uh, come here and see for yourself um, the Palestine is so much more than than walls and and soldiers so mm -hmm. it's it's a great culture and it's a is a very welcoming culture also so so I would just say Come and see for yourself, <laughs> and and do so. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, Sarah, it's a pleasure meeting you. Yeah, you too. Thank you for being <laughs> in Palestine. Shukran, shukran. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.